What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to give you my best class setup for the AUG. Uh, there's about two or three guns that I really like in game. And of course, this is just personal preference, but the AUG is one of my favorite guns in games so far. Uh, of course, for the class, we're going to use the 1911 Stem Shot, Simtex, Field Mic, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ghost. I am using Gunfighter. Of course, you could use Perk Greed with this. I'll show you some things you, could, you know you could just kind of drop off and use. Uh, that way you can just use six perks instead of, uh, you know, all the, or six perks instead of all the attachments. Now, of course, if you don't have uh, either one of these lock, unlocked yet, you're just using a lawbreaker or danger close, that is fine. You can go with this weapon with five attachments. There's just a lot of these guns in the game, in my opinion. When you put some of these extra attachments on, it really improves the weapon. Now, I'm not going to say all of them. Uh, in my opinion, there's about six attachments that are really good on every, uh, on every gun. But the only option to be able to run six attachments, of course, is you're going to have to run that gunfighter. Uh, wild card. Let's go ahead and look at kind of what I'm running on this weapon now. By default, if you equip no optic, it does have a default kind of a zoom ACOG style optic. That long rail optic you know you usually see on uh, uh, any of the OGs in past games. I will use this if I'm playing something that I'm kind of sitting back, playing slow, uh, long lines of sight, satellite, cartel. If I'm just kind of playing over the middle in cartel, not really pushing, I like to stick with this default sight. Now there are other there are some other you know long range zoom sights that you can unlock that you could try out, but if I'm going uh, close range, going to run around a little more running gun style with the weapon, I'll use either the mill stop or the Cobra Red Dot. Now when it comes to the muzzle, personally I prefer the muzzle brake. Of course you get that 10% vertical recoil control. Uh, the flash guard you could use that for muzzle flash concealment if you would like. Silencers, I'm not a huge fan of silencers in Treyarch games. I never have been. Now this could change as time goes on. But as of right now, I've really seen more of a downside when I use silencers compared to when I'm not using them. The compensator is always a good choice uh, for some. Of course, it will give you that kind of horizontal recoil. So that's why I just kind of prefer to go with the muzzle brake on most weapons because you get vertical recoil with no cons. Uh, this weapon, or, or of course, if you attach the compensator to this weapon, you're going to get 25 vertical recoil. But you will get a little bit more side to side wobble. It's just going to depend on the weapon. If you can kind of maintain that horizontal recoil that side to side kind of jitter uh, you might want to try out the infantry compensator and when it comes to the last two of course i don't have these unlocked but there's really nothing here uh, the agency silencer is not bad but my only issue is that bullet velocity and bullet velocity is very very important in this game so i try to not add any attachments that's going to hurt the bullet velocity too much when it comes to the barrel there are several options here i prefer just the very first rapid fire barrel this is going to give you a 13% fire rate with no cons. Uh, of course, you know, if you're playing something where you're going to have to damage vehicles, the Cavalry Lancer is always a good choice, but I don't ever really use this. Uh, the Strike Team Barrel, it does say extra damage and extra fire rate. I have been using these barrels on uh, this gun and, of course, the M16, and I honestly cannot tell you uh, that I have seen any difference. I seem to kill in the same burst, no matter if I have it on or off. It's going to take some more testing, some more playing with these barrels. But right now, I'm not really seeing the advantage of having this extra, quote, damage that it shows for the cons of effective damage range and idle sway. Uh, one other thing that you could use maybe would be this titanium barrel if you would like a higher fire rate. But keep in mind, the AUG's fire rate is a bit faster than the M16. So it is a burst weapon, but when you pull that trigger, you can tell that the trigger pull is a little quicker than the M16. The only thing I would say you probably could go with uh, would maybe be the match grade, which does give you effective damage range. I have not got that unlocked yet. I will test it out. So like I said, I'm going to update these uh, class uh, builds as time goes on, as I unlock more stuff, as things change, you know, nerfs, buffs, that kind of stuff. What I'm using on the body is the SOF target designator. If you guys have not tried out a flashlight yet on your weapon, definitely try it. Uh, the reveal distance is insane how far you can see people with these. Of course, you have to pay attention. Some of these are just reveal distance, so you can kind of see some people from the hip when you're just kind of strafing. Uh, if you have one like this here, you're going to have to be ADS to have that re uh, reveal distance, but I really like this for long-range shots. Um, I feel like this is some of the best things in game to help you get uh, some of that sight on people at distance, some people head glitching, because it is kind of hard to see people in game in a lot of these maps. Uh, the next thing I'm going with, of course, is just the regular front grip, which is horizontal recoil control. The infiltrator grip is really good also. So if you would like something, you know, you're not really concerned with the recoil control, this is really good because you get movement speed, shot movement speed, and aim walking movement speed. Just small amounts, but there are no cons to running this grip. Uh, when it comes to the patrol grip, not a huge fan of it. Of course, I don't have these last few unlocked. 
The only thing that I might try out would be this one here, the vertical recoil control, the horizontal recoil control with that negative uh, shoot movement speed. The only thing I don't like about shooting movement speed negatives too much, of course, is hard to strafe in gunfights. But if you do have that field agent foregrip unlocked, you might want to try it out. I will give it a try when I do unlock it. Uh, the next thing, of course, is the 45 round drum. Personally, I usually run those or quick mags. Uh, of course, the 45 round drum, the only downside to it is reload quickness. You start getting into some of these other things. You get aim down sight cons, reload quickness, aim down sight, aim, aim down sight, aim down sight. Uh, so I'm trying to really not get any aim down sight cons. So in my opinion, just the regular big magazine on every weapon is the best. You do get a little bit of a downside when it comes to reload quickness. So if you want to just be able to reload quickly, I would say go with the jungle style mag, which is pretty much just fast mag from past Call of Duty games. The next thing, of course, is the back handle, which I use the speed tape. This gives me 10% ADS speed, which is always handy if you're running around and you need to pull up on someone quickly. Uh, you can go with the fill tape. The flinch resistance in game is not like in past CODs. I think a lot of people see all these attachments and think, oh, the flinch resistance is, is bad, or flinch as bad as it was on the CODs. You're not really going to flinch a whole lot when you get shot. It's mainly visual flinch on your end. It's not flinching to make you miss your shot. These things are handy. I do like the flinch resistance. I, I'm not sure if it's a placebo effect, but I can sometimes tell a little bit of difference. But personally, overall, in my opinion, the aim down sight speed you can get with some of these is a lot better. You could go with something like this. Um, you know, if you want a little bit of that flinch resistance, this aim down sight time. Of course, there are double cons to this. Uh, you could go with something like this and, you know, lose a little bit of sprint to fire. This is probably what I'm going to go with in the end, the serpent wrap. That way I can get 25% aim down sight time. Of course, that negative uh, of 10% uh, sprint to fire, but you can make that up with the stock. Uh, you know, you can just put this marathon stock on. That's what I'm running now, which gives me 10% sprint to fire. Or you could put the Raider stock when you unlock it. This is probably what I will go with. That's giving me sprint to fire and aim walking movement speed. Hip fire accuracy when it comes to ARs, I'm never really concerned about it. You could always take off the flashlight and slap on a laser. I wouldn't recommend that because I really do like the flashlight. And if you start to use them, you will notice you can see enemies at a lot different ranges. And it's a lot easier to find people on the map. But at the same time, if you would like to make up a little bit of that hip fire, if you do have the Raider uh, pad unlocked, you could do that. Anyway, guys, you can kind of take this as a template, like I said, fit it to your play style, fit it to what perks you're running. You know, if you're running Gunfighter, that's fine. If you're running six perks, you know, you can kind of take a few of these things off, like maybe the flashlight, uh, you know, the magazine, uh, something like that. You know, you can get down to five attachments pretty easily. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've been using the AUG. Like I said, it's becoming one of my top two or three guns in the game right now. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you don't know all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.